Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to learn what is decimal and why we are required to learn it. Let's take this by an example to understand. Here there is a number. This number is said as 5426. 5000. So if I put this number into the place value table, this will be 5, 400, so 4, 26, 2, and 6 in the 1's place. So in this number, or in any such number, if you notice, then each column in a number is 10 times bigger than the one on its right. So here, if you see this column, it is 10 times bigger than this column. So it is 10 times bigger than on its right. This is 10 times more bigger than this one. And thousands column is 10 times more bigger than that of a hundreds column. So if you see, if I go on this way, with each passing column, it grows by 10x or it increases by 10 folds. Decimal number also continue this sequence with each number after the decimals place representing the numbers 10 times smaller than the column to its left. So this is 10 times smaller than the column which is on its left that is once. Here it is 10 times smaller and this is maintained further also. The next column will be 100th and so on. So here decimal number, if I say this number as a decimal number, I put here a decimal point, this, is, this dot denotes the decimal representation and the number 2 here. So here 2 is actually a number which can be said as 5, 4, 2, 6 plus 2 into 1 by 10. Because this is 10 times smaller than the 1's, that is 6. So here you can say it as 2 to be represented in the 10th place. Or in other words, you can also say it as 5, 4, 2, 6, 2. In other way, we have learned a very important concept over here. And that concept is 1 by 10 or 1 tenth can be represented as 0.1. Okay. So, here if I have 2 by 10, I represent it as 2 into 1 by 10. That is as 2. 0.2. So, what is the decimal? Let's summarize. Each column in a number is 10 times bigger than the one to its right. Decimal number continues the sequence with each column after the decimal place representing numbers 10 times smaller than the column to its left. Let's try and solve some example on it. Here you can see a block representation of the numbers and we have to convert this number into the place value table. Okay, so let's start with the tens one. Here the tens one are 1, 2 and 3 blocks of tens. As there is no 100, this is 0 for A. The next is 1's, so there is only 1 block, uh, sorry let us put for the 10. The next is 1's, as there is only 1, let us put 1 in the place value of 1's. And the 10, here you can see there is 1 and 2, 2 for the 10's available. So let us put here 2. So what could be the decimal representation of this number? This number can be represented as 
31.2 let's go to the next one here it is 100 one block of 100 so let's put here one block of 10 zero blocks of ones and four blocks of tens let's try and figure out what this number would be in decimals this will be 110 and tens will be represented after the dot so here we'll put first the dot and then the four So this number is 110.4. Let's go to the next. Next example. The example is there is a number 8 centimeter 3 millimeter. We have to convert this number or this 8 centimeter into and 3 millimeter into millimeters so this number we have to convert it into millimeters only so let's write here three millimeter now uh, we already have learned one centimeter equal to 10 millimeter that means 8 centimeter is equal to 80 millimeter it's basically very simple 1 centimeter is 10 millimeter that means when i say 8 centimeter i am multiplying 1 centimeter by 8 that gives me 8 centimeters so 10 into 8 that will give me 80 millimeters now after that if i say this then this is actually 8 centimeter is 8 millimeter plus 3 millimeter that gives me 83 millimeter let's go and try and solve the second one here it is said that the same thing they have to convert back to centimeter this we have converted only in millimeter so 8 centimeter 3 millimeter we have represented in 83 as 83 millimeter in millimeters now we have to represent the same in centimeters so let's again go back 1 millimeter is 1 by 10 centimeter that means if I have to say something 8 centimeter 8, uh, 8 centimeter the 8 centimeter is as it is if I have to say 3 millimeter it is 3 by 10 centimeter that means 8 centimeter 3 millimeter can be said as 8 plus 3 by 10 centimeter or in other words that is 8.3 centimeter here 3 by 10 centimeter we are converting it into decimal by 8 plus 0.3 centimeter this 3 by 10 converted into 0.3 and then this is said as 8.3 centimeter. Let's go to the next one. Okay. Here we have a decimal numbers and we have to put it in the place value table. So we already are aware of the number that anything which starts in the left hand side from the decimal represent the ones number. To the right of the decimal represent one tenth of the number. So let's say 19.4. This is the first example. 19.4. So 19.4. The first number to the left of decimal is 9. Which should be represented at the ones place. The first number at the right of the decimal is 4. Which should be represented 
at the tens place and then we again have this 19 so 19 means the column to the uh, to the left of 9 that is the ones is the tens column so we represent it as 1 let's take one more example Point three, the column to the right of the decimal represents the tenths value. So here, three will come in the tenths value. The column to the left of the decimal represents the ones value. And this will be zero. Here this will be zero and this will be zero. Let's take the third example. It is 10.6. That means here the 10. It's very easy. We can say here. And 0.6 means it's presented at the 6th value. Seeing the number itself, we are aware that this number, if I say this number, this is 205. So 205 means I will be representing this here, this here, to not 5. And then I will be saying 9. That is after the dot, it's the tenth value, one tenth. So this is another way of representing it. You take first the whole number of it. Here, 10, 0, 19. That is the whole part of it. Write it as we already have learned that as 205. And then take the decimal value. The first one will be at the tenth place. The second one will be at the 100th place. There would be a common question in many of the students like me that if I start here by 1s, why here I have to start by 10s? I can start here by 1 something. So the answer to it is, if I have to start by 1 by 1, 1 by 1 actually is 1. There is nothing as 1 by, I mean there is nothing separate than 1 by 1 as 1. So here, if I have to go 10 times smaller, I have to start by 1 tenth. So that's the reason why there is nothing as 1 month. Because 1 month actually...